The journey begins. Launch and planetary discoveries. On the night of September 5, 1977, the stillness over Cape Canaveral was broken by a roar that shook the earth and lit the heavens. A Titan Centaur rocket thundered to life, hurling into the darkness a spacecraft no larger than a small car, yet carrying ambitions greater than any before it. This was Voyager 1, a fragile machine, crafted by human hands, designed to journey where no eye had ever seen. As fire trailed across the Florida sky, the launch pad glowed in brilliant orange, its reflection shimmering off the Atlantic waters. Thousands of people stood in awe, their eyes lifted toward the heavens, while millions more around the world followed the spectacle on their television screens. Few among them realized that they were witnessing the beginning of a voyage that would outlast generations, crossing not only planetary frontiers but also the boundaries of human imagination. Voyager 1 was not alone on its quest. It had a twin, Voyager 2, launched weeks earlier on a parallel path. Together, the Voyagers were entrusted with a daring assignment, to leave Earth's neighborhood and venture outward, exploring the giant planets that circled our sun. Until then, Jupiter, Saturn, and their moons were known only as distant points of light, mysterious and unreachable. Now, humanity had built a pair of emissaries capable of bringing those distant worlds into focus, transforming them from specks into landscapes. The mission, however, was meant to be brief. Engineers had planned for just five years of operation. Long enough, they thought, for Voyager 1 to race past Jupiter and Saturn, collect images, gather data, and then fade quietly into the background of space. But Destiny had other plans. The spacecraft, instead of falling silent, would endure decade after decade, far beyond its expected life, until it became not merely a tool of science but a symbol of the human spirit itself. As Voyager 1 approached Jupiter, the gas giant emerged not as a simple colored sphere, but as a colossal world alive with energy and violence. Its famous great red spot, once seen only through telescopes, was revealed in exquisite detail. A storm larger than Earth itself, swirling for centuries in a continuous, furious dance. Voyager's cameras uncovered new storms, twisting bands of cloud, and electrical activity that made Jupiter's atmosphere look like a canvas painted by chaos itself. The discoveries were not limited to the planet. Among Jupiter's moons, Voyager unveiled wonders that no scientist had predicted. Io, once thought to be a quiet, cratered rock, exploded in plumes of fire and sulfur. Voyager watched in astonishment as volcanoes erupted into space, making Io the most volcanically active body in the solar system. The sight of glowing fountains, arching into the void, challenged every assumption about moons as frozen, lifeless spheres. Then came Europa. Beneath its fractured, icy surface, Voyager revealed a mystery that would ignite scientific curiosity for decades, the possibility of a hidden ocean beneath the crust. The smooth, scarred ice suggested movement, as though something beneath pushed and shifted it, hinting at liquid water, and perhaps, the faint chance of life. For the first time, humanity glimpsed a world where alien oceans might exist buried beneath miles of frozen silence. Voyager's journey carried it next to Saturn, where the spacecraft uncovered another spectacle, the planet's magnificent rains. What had seemed from Earth like flat, simple arcs were revealed in dazzling detail. The rings were not solid, but countless particles of ice and rock, orbiting in intricate patterns shaped by gravity. Some rings were thin and sharp, Others braided and twisted, forming shapes so delicate they seemed like frozen music suspended in space. Tiny moons, hidden among the rings, acted as shepherds, sculpting the arcs with their invisible hands. Saturn's atmosphere too came alive under Voyager's gaze. Vast cloud systems stretched across its surface, swirling in muted bands of gold and cream. A world of storms and winds faster than any on Earth. Saturn revealed itself as a planet both elegant and immense, a giant cloaked in mystery. 
At each stage, Voyager 1 defied expectations. What was meant to be a five-year mission had already rewritten textbooks, challenged assumptions, and transformed distant dots of light into living, alien landscapes. From Jupiter's fury to Io's fire, from Europa's hidden seas to Saturn's celestial rings, Voyager 1 had shown us that the outer planets were not quiet, barren worlds, but vibrant, dynamic, and strange. The spacecraft was no longer just a machine. It had become humanity's eyes and ears in the deep, a witness to wonders beyond imagination, a traveler carrying our collective curiosity outward into the vastness. Yet even as it delivered these astonishing images, Voyager's true odyssey was only beginning. The greatest part of its story still awaited, beyond the, into the unknown, interstellar space and legacy. By the 1980s, Voyager 1 had already surpassed its original mission, venturing farther into the cosmos than any object humans had ever created. Its faint signals, delayed by billions of miles, traveled across the emptiness of space and returned to Earth as whispers of knowledge. Against the deadly blasts of cosmic radiation, against the freezing cold of the void, Voyager endured. NASA engineers worked tirelessly, conserving its strength, shutting down one system after another, keeping only the essentials alive. Yet through it all, its transmitter, its beating electronic heart, continued to pulse, a fragile lifeline stretched across unimaginable distance. Then, in 2012, Voyager 1 crossed a boundary no machine had ever reached before. The heliopause, where the solar wind ends and the interstellar medium begins. In that instant, Voyager became the first messenger of Earth to truly leave the Sun's domain and step into the galaxy itself. But it did not simply drift silently. It brought back anomalies, strange data, subtle distortions, and mysterious signals in the cosmic background. Some scientists explained them as collisions with interstellar particles, but others, including physicist Michio Kaku, suggested they might hint at entirely new physics. Still others dared to imagine something stranger. That Voyager was brushing against hidden structures of the galaxy, invisible frameworks drifting through the interstellar dark. Even as NASA cut heaters and let the spacecraft endure near absolute zero, Voyager survived. Alongside its instruments, it carried something more precious, the golden record. Encased in gold-plated copper, this time capsule bore greetings in dozens of human languages, a selection of Earth's greatest music, natural sounds of wind and water, and even the laughter of children. It was a message in a bottle, humanity's introduction to any intelligence that might one day find it. Voyager's plasma wave detector recorded ghostly sounds of the interstellar medium. These were not the silent voids we once imagined, but haunting melodies of plasma waves and magnetic fields, rising and falling like a cosmic symphony. Even the heliopause itself appeared alive, bending and shifting under the pressure of galactic winds. Some believed Voyager might have even brushed against the influence of dark matter, the unseen scaffolding of the universe that shapes galaxies into spirals and binds stars together. Others whispered about more extraordinary possibilities, perhaps faint signs of extraterrestrial intelligence hidden in structured rhythms of its data. Though speculative, these possibilities reminded us of how little we truly know about the cosmos. Still, Voyager's voice endures. Each faint pulse is a thread connecting Earth to a lone traveler billions of miles away. Decades after launch, it is still alive, still moving outward, carrying our story into the infinite night. Though its power dwindles and its systems slowly fall silent, Voyager remains an eternal heartbeat in the dark. Its journey has inspired new generations, missions to Europa, Titan, and beyond, as well as visionary projects like Breakthrough Starshot which dreams of sending swarms of miniature probes to the nearest stars. Even when Voyager itself finally falls quiet, the golden record will drift on. It will remain a silent ambassador of Earth, perhaps one day discovered by another civilization, or perhaps forever adrift, a timeless monument to human curiosity and hope.
Voyager showed us alien worlds, unveiled the edge of our solar system, and carried our name across the stars. More than a machine, it is a symbol of exploration, a beacon of persistence, and a testament to the human spirit. From a small blue planet, we reached out into the cosmos, and Voyager 